Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to um, go into the book of Luke chapter 16 starting at verse 19. And the reason why I want to speak about this is because I want to I want to really really, you know, for anybody out there that's listening, listen. I want for you to understand and know that when we leave this life, when we leave this life and go to the next y'all, we're going to be in eternity. We're going to be in a place that is without time. We're going to be in a place that is 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 forever. You know, Jesus died the first death, so we don't have to die the second death. Jesus died once, so we don't have to die twice, okay? Jesus died once, so we don't have to die twice. Jesus bore all the sin of the world for us, y'all. God was reconciling us unto himself through Jesus Christ who knew no sin. And that took place on the cross. Y'all, our souls are so precious. We are so precious in God's sight. He loves us. God loves us, but God also has a wrath and that wrath is the hellfire. And we are gonna go to one of the two places when we leave this physical realm, this earthly realm, we're going to either judgment set for hell or judgment set for heaven. Why? I don't know why I just feel so pressed to just tell people about salvation and their soul and how serious it is and how it's a gift to us right now as we have breath in our body. Salvation is a gift. Repentance is a gift. As long as we have breath in our body, as long as we have the breath of life in our body, y'all, it is a gift unto us. You know, everybody who deems it a gift, everybody that is in the hellfire, they deem it as a gift for every, every person that came to them. Every time they heard the preaching of the word. So you have to want that relationship with Christ and listen to me. Jesus is more than able to keep you from falling. The Bible says this. He is more than able to keep you from falling. He is more than able to keep us from falling. But we have to make sure we keep a conscious decision and make a conscious effort to want to be kept. To want to be kept by Jesus. We have to want to be kept by him. Okay? Let me go into the book of Luke uh, chapter, nine, chapter 16 starting at verse 19. All right? And uh, the, the title of this is The Rich Man and Lazarus. There was a rich man who would dress in purple and fine linen, feasting lavishly every day. But a, poor name, but a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, was left at his gate. He longed to be filled with what fell from the rich man's table. But instead, the dogs would come and lick his sores. One day, the poor man died and was carried away by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torment in Hades, translation hell, being in torment in hell, he looked up and saw Abraham a long way off with Lazarus at his side. Father Abraham, he called out, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip his tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this flame. Son, Abraham said, remember during your life you received your good things just as Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here while you are in agony. Besides all this, a great chasm has been fixed between us and you so that those who want to pass over from here to you cannot. Neither can those from there cross over to us. Father, he said, then I beg you to send him to my father's house because I have five brothers to warn them so they won't come also come to this place of torment. But Abraham said, they have Moses and the prophets. They should listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. But he told him, if they don't listen to Moses and the prophets, if they don't listen to those who are trying to tell you about the word of God on today, if they don't listen to the preachers, if they don't listen to the evangelists, if they don't listen to those who are trying to warn them of their eternal soul and where they will end up if they don't do it God's way instead of their way because the holy word of God says there is a way that seems right unto you and me. There is a way that seems right unto us. There is a way that seems right unto man, but the end of that way is the way of death. The end of that way is the way of destruction. And how will we know we are in the way of death? How will we know we are in the way of destruction? We won't know because at the end, it will already be too late. By then, it will be too late because we will already be at the end. We will already be in the hellfire. Judgment will already be set 
And whatever is set is already God's word is forever settled in heaven. He cannot go back on his word. Okay. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. But he told him if they don't listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be persuaded if someone rises from the dead. Y'all, we have to take this serious. We have to take this serious. We Look, y'all, time is running out. We are on the clock. Let me tell y'all something. What I see in the spirit, we are on the clock. There is no minute hands and there is no hour hand. The second hand is ticking away. The second hand is ticking, ticking, ticking. It's ticking away. Y'all, Jesus said he is coming back like a thief in the night. Like a thief in the night. No one will know. He doesn't even know. Only his father, only our father in heaven knows when he is going to send Jesus to come back here. Y'all, we have to be. And even, even, listen, if we don't get to see with our eyes the coming of the Lord, if you take your last breath without true repentance, if you take your last breath without being all the way, all the way, I mean all the way right with the Lord, let me tell you something. You won't make heaven your home. You will not enter into the rest of God. And y'all, let me tell you, please do not do this. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Because this has been on my spirit for a while now. You know, when, when Jesus was on the cross and the two thieves were up there, you know, and the one thief said, you know, remember me, remember me, remember me in your kingdom. Remember me in your kingdom. Jesus replied and said, on this day, on this day, you shall be in paradise with me. Uh, do not, y'all listen to me carefully. Don't toy around with your salvation, okay? That man had a lump of grace on his life. And you who are watching right now, you have grace on your life. Every time you open your eyes to see a new day, that's a new day of grace and mercy that God has bestowed upon you. A new day to get it right with him. Y'all, we have to learn on a daily basis to repent every day. Every day. We have to learn to repent every day. Let me tell you what's the thing that stood out to me in this, uh, in this right here. And this isn't an exaggeration. This is Jesus speaking. It's in red. It's in red, y'all. This is Jesus speaking. I don't know if you can see the red, but this is in red. This is in red. Jesus is speaking. So it's not an exaggeration like some would like to believe. It's not an exaggeration because anyone who exaggerates is a liar. And Jesus is a man that he cannot lie. Jesus does not lie. Jesus is not a liar. He's the only one that walked this earth sinless. We are all saved by grace, y'all. We are all sinners saved by grace. Please, y'all, please listen. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. We are going to be at the, at the, at the, y'all, we're going to be at the feast with Jesus. We're going to be at the, we're going to, we're going to celebrate with Jesus, with our Lord and Savior. Don't let what you do, listen, none of our works, nothing that we do here on this earth is good enough for us to enter into heaven. The only way we can enter in is through the blood of Jesus Christ, through our repentance, through our, through our, through our contrite hearts through accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior over our life, as Lord over our life, Lord meaning ruler over our life, headship over our life, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. I want this channel, y'all, listen, I want this channel, I want everything that I do to glorify God, and I want to point you in the direction of Jesus Christ because he is the only way, he is the only way, the only way. The only way, Jesus is the only way, not our way, not our way, but God's way. Jesus is the, Jesus is the gift of life, y'all. Jesus, Jesus is the breath. Y'all, Jesus, Jesus died on Calvary. Y'all, Jesus, Jesus went to hell and he, he got the keys of hell, death, and the grave from the enemy. Your soul matters to God. You matter, you matter, you matter. If you didn't matter, then what took place on Calvary wouldn't have never taken place. 
but you matter to a loving God. You matter to a merciful God. You matter to a, a faithful God. You matter. You matter. You matter. You matter. God loves you. God loves you. But y'all, we got to make sure that we take account of his wrath because God has a wrath. God has a wrath. God said, don't fear the one who's able to kill the body, but fear the one who is able to cast your soul into hell. And that is God himself. God is the only one that can cast our soul into hell. Only God. Y'all, we have to take salvation seriously. Y'all, we have to take it seriously. We don't know when we go to sleep at night if we're going to wake up the next day. We don't know if we're going to go into eternity when we close our eyes and go to sleep and have plans mapped out for the next day. Whatever it is that you're holding in your heart that is unlike God, I beg you on today. I beg you, I beg you to ask God to release you from that. Give it all to God. God is the burden barrier. Jesus Christ will take on your burdens for you. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. And, and this is what I want to say. This man, listen to me. This man in hell, he had his memory. He had his memory. He remembered his brothers on earth. I believe that's one of one one of one of the one of the uh, greatest torments in hell is knowing, is knowing you had a chance. Is knowing. Y'all know now, listen, I, I I take my salvation so seriously now, even when I'm drinking water. I'm I'm praying to God. I'm thanking God for that water because I know how many souls are in everlasting torment. And they will never be able to taste the gift of water again. Because that's a gift. Every breath we take is a gift. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I will say for you to do it today. Come to God. God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit is here with us, y'all. The Holy Spirit is here. The Holy Spirit is comforting us. The Holy Spirit is here with us. The Holy Spirit loves us, y'all. The, they, 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 they want us to win. They want us to make heaven our home. We have a lot on our side. Jesus Christ, who was slain on Calvary, our Lord and Savior, he is contending for us, y'all. He is praying. He's interceding for us. The Holy Ghost is interceding for us. The Holy Ghost is here, here, here. The Holy Ghost is here with us. The Holy Ghost is on this earth with us, y'all. We have the Holy Ghost contending for us. We have God's hand of protection through the Holy Ghost. We have the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary. Listen, whatever ails you in your body, you have power in you. If you've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord over your life, and you are living and striving to make heaven your home. You have power in you that you need to tap into through the Holy Ghost. And you speak to whatever is ailing you in your body. And it must go. The Bible says submit yourself unto the Lord. Submit yourself unto the Lord. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Do y'all understand how small the enemy of our soul is compared to Jesus? Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I thank God. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for the blood that was shed on Calvary. Y'all, this man, this rich man, and I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the rich man that's in hell. Y'all, don't you think that Jesus, it hurts Jesus to know that he went to the cross? He went to Calvary. He did it all for us. He did it all. He, he went to the cross for us. He shed his blood. They ripped his beard out of his face. They spit on him. They threw rocks at him. Because he loved us. He did it because he loved us. And he wanted us to make heaven our home. He did it because he loved us. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Give your life to God. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to the Holy One. 
Y'all give it to God. Nothing on this earth, nothing in this world is worth you forfeiting your, your, your right to the life, your right to the tree of life. Nothing is worth it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't care what uh, Hollywood shows you. Y'all, I just, a lot of people going to be in hell because of people and because of what they see with their eyes instead of just walking by faith and trusting God in everything, in everything. God loves you. If you got breath in your body, let me tell you something. He ain't through with you. God ain't through with you yet. If you have breath in your body, God is not through with you and God loves you. God wants all of us to make it. God wants to see all of us make it. Okay? So if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as Lord over your life, I invite you on tonight. I invite you on tonight to just accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior over your life. Just repeat after me, God, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I ask you to close every door that I've opened to the enemy of my soul. I ask you in the name of Jesus to take my sins and throw them into the sea of forgetfulness. And on this day, I accept Jesus as Lord over my life. I accept him and I recognize and I confess and believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I invite the Holy Ghost into my life on this day. I invite the Holy Ghost into my life. I invite the Holy Ghost into my life. I invite the Holy Ghost into my heart to comfort me, correct me, and convict me. And I thank you on this day. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I ask you to write my name in the Lamb's book of life. And I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I make you master of my life. I make the Lord Jesus master of my life. I ask you to help me to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, who's seated at your right hand, I thank you for your mercy and your grace. I thank you for your loving kindness. I thank you for your faithfulness, God. I thank you. And I praise your holy name. All glory to your name. In Jesus' name, who's seated at your right hand through his holy blood. Amen. Congratulations and welcome to the body of Christ. Listen to me. The angels in heaven are having a, a Holy Ghost a, a, a revival on your behalf right now. The angels in heaven are, are rejoicing because of your decision in making heaven your home. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Going forward, fight for your salvation because don't believe that lie. Don't believe the lie once saved, always saved because that is not true. Once saved, it's not always saved. Like I stated earlier, Jesus is more than able to keep us from falling, but we got a purpose in our hearts and want to be kept by him. But you can find yourself and you can end up in a backslidden state, okay, if you find yourself in sin. Again, what I want to say to you is this. Anybody, listen to me carefully, listen to me carefully, anybody that you found yourself sinning with, you share the good news that you just come into, you share the good news with them and you let them know how important your soul is, how important salvation is. Y'all, from the time I started this video up until now, it's countless numbers of souls that have entered into the place of damnation that has entered into eternal damnation. And there's no way for them to get out because guess what? Once judgment is set, it is set. When judgment is set, it is set. God cannot go back on his word, y'all. God is forever settled in heaven, okay? So I want to say to you, I want to say to you, fight for your salvation. Fight for your salvation. Fight, fight, fight for your salvation. Because I'm going to tell you this, the enemy of your soul, he hates what just took place. But the angels in heaven are rejoicing. Jesus Christ is more than able to keep you from falling. But you have the purpose to want to be kept by him. Jesus Christ is more than able to keep you from falling. But you got a purpose to want to be kept by him. Jesus Christ is more than able to keep you from falling. But you have the purpose in your heart. You got a purpose in your mind to want to be kept by him. You got a purpose to want to be kept by him. You got a purpose to want to be kept by him. Because he is more than able. The Bible says he is more than able to keep you from falling. He is more than able to keep me from falling. He's more than able to keep us from falling. We got a purpose. We got a purpose to want to be kept by him okay learn to repent on a daily basis learn to ask god's forgiveness on a daily basis i'm telling you when you do that that keeps you close with god that keeps you in right relationship with him god bless y'all go get yourself water baptized the bible speaks of being baptized in water and spirit go look up a local church and be water baptized and it's 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 going for 
to be water baptized is to lay aside that old man that you carried on the inside of you before coming to Jesus Christ, okay? It's to lay aside the old man that was once carried on the inside of all of us before coming to Jesus Christ. You're going to do, you're going to be spiritually laying that old man aside. You're going to be washing that old man away. Lay it to the side. Kill that old man that was on the inside of you, okay? And then the Bible speaks of being born of the Spirit, okay? Pray and ask God to send His Spirit up on you. Ask God, ask God to, for His Spirit to come up on you so no, and, and don't ever leave you, okay? Pray. And I thank God for this time. I thank y'all for coming onto my channel. And remember, Jesus died once so we don't have to die twice. Jesus died once so we don't have to die twice. God bless you. God bless. Remember, you got to pray. You got to pray. You got a purpose to want to be kept by him. God bless y'all.